Hello, today I'm going to share with you this delicious recipe to make Mexican picadillo. Your ingredients will be one medium green pepper, two tomatoes, one small onion, one jalapeno or more if you decide, if you want to, and one medium potato. One handful of cilantro. In this case, I used a little bit more just because I love the taste it gives it. One pound of 93% ground beef. Uh, in this occasion, I had this delicious added ingredient which is Mexican pork chorizo. I used a third cup of it. And the seasonings can be salt and pepper and a little bit of cumin. I use Goya adobo which is just a flavored salt. Number one, you dice all the vegetables and go ahead and add one tablespoon of minced garlic. And you start very basic. You're going to brown your meat. That's your first step. A little bit of olive oil. You're going to use, see me use it freely and um, I use it throughout the cooking process. Uh, this is a nice time to go ahead and, and chop up all your meat very finely because once you add all the veggies you won't be able to do it so freely. So go ahead and make sure you break up all those big chunks. Once you have it nice and brown you're gonna drain it. You're gonna take it to the sink and drain it. Um, and I'm gonna let it sit there so that I can start. Oh, those cast iron skillets are so heavy, but I love cooking with them. So we go back to our pan, uh, oil it a little bit, and it's back on low. And I start with the potatoes. First is the potatoes. We put them to fry in this case. Right now, uh, it's just gonna it's getting sauteed a little bit and you might be asking why I'm not using a slotted spoon or just a spoon But I do like to use the spatula when I'm cooking uh, Picadillo because I like how it mixes everything beef without um, Cutting up the Vegetables and you'll see what I mean once you have everything back in the pot a little bit more olive oil, again, I go and add more. That container gives out a little bit at a time, so I like to keep adding it. And then once you see your potatoes are fully covered, you do the same thing with the peppers and the onions, the jalapenos are in there. Uh, mix it all up, make sure everything's coated with a little bit of olive oil. And once you see that it, they're starting to go soft, you add your seasonings. Now here, I do not have exact measurements. I go by just covering the surface. Once everything's spread out in your uh, pot or your uh, skillet, I like to just cover the area. But uh, again, go ahead and keep tasting everything as you go so that you can adjust your flavors when it comes to seasoning. Uh, I went ahead and put the heat and lowered it a little bit to go ahead and add the brown meat. And we mix it all up so that it starts cooking evenly. Uh, and the tomatoes are gonna be added later on as long as with the cilantro. Next is the chorizo. This is optional. Most of the times I cook it without but in this case I had it so I went ahead and added it to give it that special special flavor. And I'm not, I don't have it all the time. So once you see the peppers are turning uh, or cooking or your potatoes, you want to go buy your potatoes too, uh, you add the tomatoes and you could go ahead and add them with the rest of the veggies. I just prefer them at the end so they can conserve a little bit of their texture. Okay, and again, we mix it all up. I'm scraping the sides of the cast iron skillet just so that everything gets mixed up nice and well. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit more seasonings later on because the vegetables have not been seasoned and I go by my same rule. I just cover the surface. But if, if you want an exact measurement for a pound, you might use a little less than a tablespoon, I guess I would say. But rule of thumb, taste everything you put in as you go. Uh, this is my personal preference just a pinch of cumin but you can add as much as half a teaspoon of cumin I don't prefer uh, but I do like 
uh, that it gives it that Mexican authentic flavor. So I just add uh, a bit. Now with the cilantro, I, I wait till the last 30, 20 minutes. And this is a nice little trick I have to use because I have kids that don't like little leaves in their food, but they still love the cilantro flavor it gives it. So I just put it in one of these uh, tools for your tea bags for when you have loose tea. Uh, and then I add a little bit of water at the end. You can make it as soupy as you want. I just put a little bit to help the potatoes cook and for the cilantro to really release that flavor. Here you can see my final product. We chose that day to eat it in the form of burrito. But you can serve it in tacos. You can serve it by itself. You can make those hard shells tacos that are so famous and my kids love them. So it's just a nice to go uh, dish, uh, picadillo. Thanks for watching.